everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on Gwen Stefani's new lipstick shades. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Gwen Stefani came out with two different lipstick formulas. She has a satin version and a matte version. Each lipstick retails for $26 at Sephora. We're first gonna start off with the satin lipsticks and then we'll move on to the matte version. I do wanna read a little bit about these lipsticks on Sephora's website. A cushiony, high-performance lipstick with high color payoff and a smooth as silk satin finish. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. The packaging is made out of cardboard. It has her brand on it, it's called Give. Underneath that, it says Anaheim Shine High Performance Satin Lipstick. You get 0.10 ounces of product or three grams. Up at the top, you have the shade name. This shade is called Screen My Phone Calls. On this side of the packaging, you have some directions on how to apply the lipstick. On the other side, you have the list of ingredients. On the back, next to the barcode, it does state that this lipstick was made in the USA. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I like the design. That's pretty cool. Here's what the inside of the lipstick looks like. It looks like they might have put it in backwards because the shade name is down at the bottom. Here's what the actual lipstick looks like. It says give on this side. Same thing on the other side, it says give. I like the colors Gwen chose for this lipstick, the white and the black, really cool. Again, down at the bottom you have the shade name. This shade is called Screen My Phone Calls. You have the logo again. Let's see what this shade looks like. Here's what the shade in screen my phone calls looks like. This shade is described as a peachy pink. That swatch very buttery on the back of my hand. Here's what one layer looks like. It's not as pigmented as I was expecting it to be. I am gonna be building it up with a second layer. Here's what two coats looks like. It's definitely much better. The next shade is called Stomp Box. This is my type of shade, it's so beautiful. Stomp Box is described as a rosy mauve. This shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Stomp Box looks like. This shade is beautiful. Again, I wish this formula was a little bit more pigmented. I'm gonna press my lips together. I wanna feel the formula. It feels very comfortable and lightweight. I'm gonna apply a second coat. Here we have two layers. Again, much better with two layers if you have pigmented lips like I do. The next shade is called Laura. Oh wow, this shade is beautiful. Laura is described as an orange red. Wow, that is super pigmented versus the other two shades. Here's what the shade in Laura looks like. It's stunning. I don't need to apply a second layer, but let's see what it looks like. Here's what two layers looks like. This shade is very pigmented with one coat. You don't need to apply a second layer, but it is really pretty with two layers. The last shade in the satin formula is called Rosewood Street. Here's what the shade in Rosewood Street looks like. Rosewood Street is described as a bright berry. Again, very pigmented. Here's what one layer looks like. This shade looks very uneven on my lips. Let's see what a second coat looks like. Here's what two coats looks like. Again, it looks a little bit patchy and uneven on my lips. This shade is not my favorite out of the four. Here's what all four shades of the satin lipsticks look like swatched on the back of my hand. 
I only liked one of the satin lipstick. This shade in Laura was super pigmented with one swipe. You can apply a second coat if need be, but you don't need to. And this orangey red shade is gorgeous. These two neutral shades are pretty, but they're not for me. I prefer the rosy mauve shade in Stomp Box versus this shade in Screen My Phone Calls. I wanted to love this shade in Rosewood Street, but it looks very uneven on my lips. Now let's move on to the matte formula. Again, the matte lipsticks retail for $26 each. I do want to read a little bit about the matte lipsticks on Sephora's website. A luxurious, high-performance, clean lipstick formula with high color payoff and a velvety matte finish. It has the same cardboard packaging as the satin formula. I wish they would have changed the packaging up a little bit, maybe make this a little bit matte or this a high shine finish. Some customers might get confused on picking out the wrong formula. They might have wanted the matte version, but they ended up picking up the satin version because the packaging is similar. Hopefully in the future, Gwen does update the packaging to make it a little bit different than the satin formula or vice versa. Anyways, here's what both of them look like side by side. Both says give on the middle of the packaging and then underneath that, this one says Original Me High Performance Matte Lipstick. And again, you get the same amount of product, 0.10 ounces or three grams of product. Up at the top, you have the shade name. This shade is called Lovable Me. Same thing, it has the directions on how to apply the lipstick. You have the ingredients. And then on the back, it does state it was made in the USA. Let's see what the shade in Lovable Me looks like. Same design. Oh, okay, this is different. Before we had the black on the top and now we have the white. Interesting. The packaging is similar to the satin formula. Again, I wish Gwen would have just changed up the packaging just to make it easier for the consumer. Oh, okay, this is different. This has the black logo and the satin lipstick has the white logo. So I guess it makes it a little bit different. Let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Here's the matte and then here's the satin formula. Again, the packaging is similar. Maybe she should have made the cap black and the bottom white for the matte or the satin lipstick. I think that would have been cool. This shade is so beautiful. Lovable Me is described as a brown peachy natural. That is very beautiful. Here we have the shade in Lovable Me. This shade is so pretty. I'm gonna press my lips together. It doesn't feel like I have any product on my lips. It feels very lightweight and comfortable. I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see how much product transfers. Oh wow, there is a little bit of transfer, but the majority of the product is still on my lips. I like the matte formula better than the satin formula. Again, I'm gonna be applying a second coat to see if it's buildable. Here we have two layers. Again, I'm gonna press my lips together. Again, it feels very lightweight on my lips. It doesn't feel like I have any product. I can just feel my bare lips. This formula is amazing. The next shade is called Tragic Me. Again, very beautiful. Tragic Me is described as a beige peachy neutral. Again, so pretty. Here's what the shade in Tragic Me looks like. Another stunning shade. This matte formula, you don't need to apply a second coat if you have pigmented lips like I do. It's super pigmented with one swipe. The formula is buildable if you need to apply a second coat. The next shade is called Old School Me. Wow, this shade is beautiful. Old School Me is described as a rich berry red. It does seem to be a little bit patchy, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in Old School Me looks like. Again, this shade is a little bit uneven on my lips and it looks a little bit patchy as well. I don't know why the berry shades are swatching like that on my lips. They should be a little bit more pigmented. Again, it's not my favorite shade. The last shade is called 80s Me. Wow, this shade is vibrant. 80s Me is described as a bright plum. Here's what the last shade in Old School Me looks like. I love this vivid plum shade, it is gorgeous. Here's what all eight shades look like swatched on the back of my hand.
I love these three shades in the matte formula. It's super pigmented with one swipe. You can build it up. It feels very comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel like anything. I wanted the Rich Berry shade to be a little bit more pigmented, but it was uneven and patchy. For $26, I would highly recommend the matte formula versus the satin formula. When I did that kiss test on the back of my hand, there was barely any transfer. I know I didn't do a kiss test for the satin formula. I do want to show you guys that the satin formula transfers. I can automatically see that. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the matte version. You can see it does transfer. These are lipsticks. They are going to transfer, so don't expect these to be transfer proof. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.